You know, it's like when you're having fun, time flies. Yeah. I can't believe that we've come to the end of it already. Now, but for me, the highlights will be first and foremost, Zimbali Lodge. Zimbali Lodge in Durban was brilliant. I mean, for me, it's an environment where I probably would like to retire in terms of uh, got my golf there, you have the spa, the spa there, and the rooms are beautiful, and the environment is fresh and healthy. But then, in Cape Town, that's something that's breathtaking. I like to own a home in Cape Town. The beautiful scenery of Cape Town is just wonderful. I, until now, I didn't believe that. I thought probably you only find such things in Greece or something yes, or wherever. Yes. But we have it right here in Africa, and I wonder. I don't see why people go to other countries for holidays, for summer, when you have more than what you have there right here in South Africa. No, I think the old, the old thing about really? it is that the hospitality industry in South Africa is just awesome. Yeah. I mean, the people are so fresh warm and, and warm and friendly and the rest of it. I mean, you can't ask for anything else. Where else do you want to go? I'm taking back memories mm. of South Africa that remain fresh. For me, the whole experience, the one word that captures it is, is unforgettable. It's totally an unforgettable experience. And what I'm taking back to Nigeria with me would be, how do you put it? <laughs> when it, it's, it's like I have something in my heart I need to share with people because I feel they have so much to offer, but the world doesn't know about it. So I'm going back like an ambassador to tell the world about South Africa. There's just so much. I can't put it in a word or in a sentence. But I, th I think, I think uh, there's been a lot of injustice uh, to what South Africa is all about. In the sense that people need to come and get to see and get to experience and get to feel the spirit of South Africa. That's true. It's brilliant. You have to experience it to understand it. Next time I'm planning a trip to South Africa, minimum two weeks. You know, we've traveled quite, quite a lot, actually. We've been to a number of places, but mm. one thing that strikes me about South Africa is that in going through all of this, is the level of education that you get about South Africa. Mm, the reality the, behind the history. Of South Africa, yeah. the, the, the origin of what you have in South Africa, it's how rich. this came about, that the Dutch come in, the French guys come in for the wine, and then the, the Cape, the, the, the facts about the Atlantic Ocean and the India Ocean, Indeed. getting meeting at the Cape and, and things like that. I mean, that's for me, it's brilliant. It's something that's never happened to us before. I mean, I go on holidays and I'm back. Yes, I had fun, heard, but I really don't get to know the, where I've been and get to understand the really. I mean, I think we must come around here with the kids. Yeah, they must, I mean, we must get to, for themselves, see and hear about South Africa. The landscape is breathtaking. It's, breathtaking. it's unique to South Africa. It's no, you can't. I mean, you can It can be created anywhere else. No, it can be created anywhere else. I mean, the kind of the kind of. I mean, it's, it's just beautiful. The scenery, it's breathtaking. I mean, it's been a beautiful experience. It's been wonderful. I mean, we've enjoyed this so much. Like I said, it's just unforgettable. South Africa is blessed, and everybody in at least once in a lifetime ought to visit South Africa.